I'm trying to use this Honda EB5000 generator to power my house. The electricity goes out. It's going to have 240 volts coming out of here. The mail plug that goes in here. So it didn't work. Kept this thing kept tripping. When did it give any power to the house? I found an old bulletin two page online. It said, wait a minute. This thing is OSHA certified to produce GFCI safe power when you're working out on a job site. You know, you're cutting things, cutting wires, you're wearing water. And it's a good design, by the way. But if you want to power a house that always already has a ground system, you can't have two ground systems, a house and this. So the two there's a two page flyer that came out that said basically open that cap and there's a little jumper wire in there take it out and now it'll work without its own ground system and it uses the ground system in the house so we're going to give that a try Yeah, I got the screws out. I'm going to take this pa panel off. And this is the wire I have to take off right here. This little jumper is the, how it enables the GFCI, which works out in the field if you have a bunch of tools hooked up to it, but doesn't work when you have a grounded house. So the bulletin says take those off. Take this screw out, take that off, put that ground wire back in. And then take the bottom one off. I need a little wrench to do that. Got a nut and a lock washer on there. Pull that jumper off. Well, save that little guy if you want to use this outside the tools for power generating the house make sure this little lip is uh, this metal frame is between the two lips on this thing there's a little slot in there Holds it in place. Here we go. Let's start it up, see if it works. working. 